You know, one of the most exciting type of fly fishing in salt water is to stock bonefish on the flats. Doesn't matter if it's the flats that are exposed to the oceans or fishing them right in the mangroves. It's so exciting to spot the fish and then to have the right fly and to cast ahead of it, see it take the fly and then take off like a bullet. I just want to show you some of the flies that work really well down here off the south coast of Cuba. You can tell from the box that I've got open for you that a lot of the patterns that I use here are very natural colors. Some of them have legs on them, some of them don't. What I'll do is I'll pop a couple of these out here to explain to you what the difference is. For example, this particular fly, you can see can resemble something like a crab or even a shrimp, but it has eyes, weighted eyes. So this particular fly would work well in slightly deeper water and if there's no grass on the bottom because it's going to sink at a certain speed. If I'm fishing some of the shallower flats, and especially where there's grass, I'm just going to flip this over here. I'll show you some of the patterns that are very similar, but they don't have heavy eyes. So here's another fly that I'll show you. You can see that it's got little rubber legs and it's got a tail. And see it has the eyes. The eyes are actual beads, so they don't sink that fast. And this particular one has monofilament weed guards, so I can bend the weed guards back into position. So when I'm going over the grass, the grass will go over the weed guard and not get caught on the hook. The standard size hooks for fishing for bonefish is either a number six or a number eight hook. So these are not very large. So these work really well in clear water because the colors are very natural. If I'm fishing some murkier water where there's been wave action, I'm going to go to some of the brighter flies like you see here. These are crazy charlies and you can see that they're very metallic. Then I've got some clouser minnows here that are chartreuse with again weighted eyes, okay? So see how gaudy and bright that particular fly is compared to the two that are in my hand? This fly will work really well if you get into murky waters and a lot of times when there is a tide change and you've got a little bit of current and the water gets stirred up, that particular fly will work really well fished off the bottom. Remember whenever you're casting the bonefish with any of these flies, as soon as you see the bonefish approach, make sure to start stripping faster and faster to make it look like its prey is trying to get away. That's the trick to get them to commit and grab that fly.